It began with a simple act, farmers digging a well in Shanxi province in 1974. Their shovels struck a fragment of terracotta, shaped like a human head. At first they thought it was an old kiln or temple statue, but as more fragments emerged, they realized this was something extraordinary. Local authorities were alerted, and archaeologists soon arrived. They uncovered a vast subterranean legion of life-size soldiers. The initial excavation revealed a massive pit filled with row upon row of warriors. These silent soldiers were poised to protect their emperor in the afterlife. The world watched in awe as news of the discovery spread. Each soldier was unique, with individual faces and expressions. The discovery raised profound questions. Who built this army and why? The answer lay with Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of a unified China. The farmers had unearthed the eternal guardians of an emperor obsessed with immortality. The ground beneath their feet had kept a secret for more than 2,000 years. The silent soldiers were beginning to tell their story, a story of power, ambition, and a quest for eternal life. This was not just a collection of statues, but a snapshot of an ancient military force frozen in time. The scale was staggering, the craftsmanship astonishing. The Terracotta Army became one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. It offered a window into a lost world, revealing the ambitions of a ruler who sought to conquer death itself. The Emperor's silent army had finally been awakened, their story was just beginning to unfold. To understand the Terracotta Army we must first meet Qin Shi Huang, the first Emperor of China. He unified China in 221 BC, conquering rival states and building a powerful empire. He standardized currency, weights, and roads, shaping a nation that would last. Yet, he feared death and longed for immortality. He ordered a vast mausoleum, a microcosm of his empire. To guard it he created the Terracotta Army, thousands of clay soldiers standing eternal watch. The silent army remains a testament to one man's quest for immortality. The Terracotta Army captivates not just for its scale, but for its individuality. Archaeologists have uncovered thousands of soldiers, chariots, and horses, each arranged in precise military formation. No two soldiers are exactly alike. Each has distinct facial features, hairstyles, and expressions. Some are young and determined, others older and battle-worn. The realism is breathtaking. Portraits of real people, not just generic warriors. Bodies were mass-produced with molds, but heads were sculpted by hand, blending efficiency with artistry. Details abound, textured armor, intricate hairstyles, even the tread on their shoes. Originally they were armed with real weapons, now mostly lost to time. This individuality gives the army a profound sense of humanity. These are not just clay figures, they feel like people ready for a battle that will never come. The army includes generals, officers, archers, and charioteers, each rank identifiable by uniform and armor. It's a complete military hierarchy, recreated in clay. The emperor wasn't just taking an army to the afterlife, he was taking his army. The Terracotta Army is a masterpiece of ancient engineering and artistry. It immortalizes the soldiers who built and defended an empire. When the first warriors were unearthed in 1974, they appeared a uniform gray. But originally, the Terracotta Army was a vibrant spectacle, painted in bold colors. For centuries, the soldiers retained their painted finishes underground. Yet, exposure to air caused the delicate lacquer and paint to flake away within minutes. The brilliant colors vanished before archaeologists' eyes. Imagine the army as it was meant to be, robes of purple, red, and green, lifelike faces, armor painted to mimic leather and metal. The loss of color was a tragic consequence of discovery. Preserving these fleeting colors became a scientific challenge. Researchers learned that Qin artisans used a lacquer base beneath mineral paints, unstable when exposed to air. The breakthrough came with a special chemical consolidant, developed through international collaboration. This substance stabilizes the lacquer, preserving the paint. Now, newly unearthed warriors are carefully treated and conserved in controlled labs. The true vibrant appearance of the Emperor's army is being saved for future generations. The Terracotta Army's colors are slowly being resurrected revealing the spectacle intended for the afterlife. Science and archaeology are restoring the lost brilliance of the past. Preserving the Terracotta Army is a monumental task. Enter Project Chin, a groundbreaking initiative to create a complete digital archive of every warrior and artifact. Advanced 3D scanning captures every detail, creating digital twins that can be studied from anywhere in the world. This non-invasive technique allows researchers to analyze manufacturing techniques and tool marks invisible to the naked eye. Artificial intelligence takes it further, comparing facial features, identifying patterns, 
and even helping to digitally reassemble broken fragments. The digital archive enables virtual restoration and experimentation before any real-world intervention. Researchers can digitally repaint warriors, revealing their original colors without touching the statues. Project Chin ensures that, even if the physical site is threatened, the knowledge and beauty of the Terracotta Army are preserved forever. The digital resurrection brings the ancient army into the 21st century. It democratizes access allowing anyone anywhere to explore this wonder. Technology is now a guardian of history. The Terracotta Army's legacy is secured in both clay and code. The Emperor's silent army will never be lost again. The Terracotta Army is more than a military guard, it's a historical document. The faces of the warriors reflect the diversity of the Qin Empire, uniting many ethnic groups and cultures. By studying their features, archaeologists piece together a portrait of ancient China's people. The army is a census carved in clay, showing broad northern faces, delicate southern features and even hints of western ancestry. This diversity is seen in clothing, armor and footwear, subtle variations hint at regional origins. Researchers map these differences revealing the empire's vast reach. Some believe the warriors are actual portraits of real soldiers, immortalized in clay, Perhaps a general's likeness was captured for eternity, or a family could recognize a son among the ranks. This idea adds a powerful human dimension to the silent army. The Terracotta army becomes a memorial to the real men who built and defended the Qin Empire. It's a testament to unity and diversity. The Emperor's army was a coalition of peoples, not just a force of conquest. Their legacy endures in every unique face. The discovery of the Terracotta army brought a new challenge. Preservation. Exposure to air caused paint to flake and terracotta to degrade. The pits are now enclosed in a vast climate-controlled museum to protect them. Scientists monitor temperature, humidity and air quality to maintain stable conditions. Special lighting inhibits mold growth without harming the clay. Conservation is painstaking. Each figure is treated with care, cleaned with delicate tools and reassembled by expert hands. Modern technology plays a vital role. 3D scanning, X-rays and CT scans reveal hidden cracks and construction secrets. Every soldier is treated as a patient, not just an object. The fusion of archaeology and science is essential for preservation. The guardians of the guardians ensure the Emperor's army will stand for centuries to come. Preservation is a race against time, but technology is tipping the balance. The Terracotta Army's future depends on innovation and vigilance. The silent sentinels are protected by a new generation of watchful guardians. The Terracotta Army is no longer just a silent monument, it's a living archive. Archaeology and technology have transformed it into a dynamic source of discovery. Each new find adds to the story of the Qin Dynasty and the birth of China. AI and digital models reveal patterns in construction, suggesting assembly line production and specialized workshops. Inscriptions on some figures may identify the artisans who made them, giving voice to the anonymous creators. The army's diversity challenges old views of the Qin as rigid and uniform. It reveals an empire of organization, artistry and individuality. The Terracotta army is a testament to both imperial power and the skill of common people. Most of the tomb complex remains unexcavated, a trove of secrets for the future. The silent sentinels now speak through science and data, bridging millennia. Their story continues, illuminated by curiosity and technology.